In this lesson, I'll show you how to set a cookie. Here I am in Code Anywhere. I'll right click and create a new file. And this file I will call setcookie.php. I'll go ahead and open that file. And the first thing I want to do is to start with my PHP code block. Now there is a built-in function called setcookie. So let's call that, run brackets, and semicolon. Now I need to pass in two arguments here. The first one is the name of my cookie. And in this particular example, I will use a cookie called fruit. So let's say I'm storing my favorite fruit. The next bit of information I need to store is the value. And in this particular case, my value is orange. So let's say my favorite fruit is orange. I will save that. I'll go to my preview. Let's do a quick refresh. There's the file. I'll open that file. And now that cookie has been set. Now, depending on your browser, you can actually view your cookies. In Chrome, I can go to this address here. So Chrome colon double forward slash settings forward slash cookies. I'll press enter. This brings up a list of all of my cookies. And I can do a quick search for the cookie that I'm looking for. Well, I know this came from this URL, this preview URL. So I'll just do a quick search for preview. And there it is. I'll click on that and I can see that one cookie has been set. The name of the cookie is fruit. And when I click on that, I can see the content of that cookie. In this particular case, the content is orange. I can see the URL that it came from. And I can also see the created date and the expiry. Now in this particular case, the cookie will expire when I end this browsing session. Now one thing I can do in my cookie when I set it is to pass in a third argument and that will be the expiry time of the cookie. And the way I do that is as follows. I take the current time, so that's a function, and I add on the number of seconds until the cookie expires. In this particular case, let's say I want the cookie to expire in 10 minutes. That's 600 seconds. So get the current time and add on 600 seconds. I'll save that. I'll just quickly refresh this to reset that cookie. That's been set. Now I can actually refresh this. There's my preview. There's the cookie fruit. And when I click on that, I can see that it expires in 10 minutes. Now there are other arguments you can pass into your cookie, but I'll leave you to explore that in your own time. Because this is an introductory course, we'll keep things fairly simple. If you want to know more, you can go to php.net and just do a quick search for cookies.